Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have an endoscope here, yeah? So you may be wondering what this channel is turning into, things you can do with an endoscope. But this was actually sent to me by Depth Tech. They got in touch with me and said, hey, we've seen your channel. Do you have any interest in an endoscope? And they linked me to another video that somebody had made not specifically with electronic repair but they were using it to look around on pcbs and for example underneath bga chips and i thought you know what every time i've seen like a ram chip on a graphics card or a bga chip that has some corrosion underneath it's all bad contacts it usually tends to be near the edges so i thought you know what i hope you guys agree with me this might be an interesting thing to look at. So this is the Depth Tech DS520. We'll have a quick look at their website just to see how much this is. Let's just start with the important things first and then let's see if this is good for the purpose that I have in mind for it. Here's the Depth Tech official store on AliExpress and we can see the DS520. This comes in a few different variants. So one of the variants is the length of the cable. This is effectively how far you can see with this, five meters, 15 meters, 1.5 meters. And the other option is the dual lens or triple lens version. On the front of the box I have, it says DS520. So we can have a look at a moment to see which one they've actually sent me. Let's have a quick look at the specification. We can see then the lens size, practically 8mm, 1080p. This will record and take photographs. Uh, this spec is for the dual lens version. Uh, angle of the camera is 70 degrees, 5 inch color screen, and it comes with various accessories, a hookah magnet. I have these with mine so I can show you. The 32 gigabyte TF card, the case. And we have a few reviews here. These seem to be very positive. So let's have a look at the one they've sent us and we will see what we think of it. Well, we have the five inch version, uh, IP67, fully waterproof, that's very handy. And we can have a look on the back. We have the five meter version, it says, and we have the triple lens version. So that's the one that they've sent for me to review. Let's take a look at it. And here it is in a very handy carry case. Yeah, that's just fine actually for carrying around. This is a very rigid case, so it will well protect the equipment. We have the uh, cable, this is the five meters. This is very rigid, you can bend it, but it's very rigid. I assume this helps you to get this into narrow orifices. Okay, user manual and the actual boroscope or endoscope. And we have a little pack of accessories. This is the actual item itself. Uh, I'm just saying you sure you connect the USB cable fully, otherwise it'll say no signal, the light won't light up okay. And there we have it. Well, it says I need to connect the accessory, otherwise it will say there's no camera. So this is like a standard USB 3 connector. I can see it has the extra connections down inside there. So it is USB 3. It will insert one way round, of course. This has like this plastic sheath on here. I'm guessing this is to prevent any liquid ingress into here. Although the IP67 applies to the camera, not the unit. Okay, nice and positive. That's not going to fall out. Okay, let's see if there's any charge in the batteries. Yes, it powers up. Oh, and that's nice and bright. And we have a light on the end of the camera. Oh, and it's working. Okay, of course. I'll just take the bit of tape off here. And let's see what we have. So we can rotate this round whichever way we want. 
I'll just get the direction upright. And there we can see quite clearly. How close does this actually focus? Let's have a look. Well, I'm looking into my mouse, as you can see. I'm fairly close there. You can see both the image and the item. So yeah, we can certainly see inside things with this. And we can see well. That is basically touching the item now, and that's where we are actually losing focus a little bit further back, yeah. I'm very interested to see how well this looks under BGA chips. That was the main idea of this review. But first of all, let's have a quick look at the manual and figure out how to start the recording. And then we can also play back some of the recordings as well to see just how well this actually works on a full screen. Well, the manual is fairly simple, actually. It's a multi-language manual. We can see we have a slot for the TF card, Type-C charging port, language settings. So we have a menu on here. Okay, we'll leave ours in English. Tells you how to take photos, long or short press. You can view photos on the screen, but I'm actually going to take some recordings and then play them back on the computer so you can have a good look. Lens switching. So this has the triple lens on this one. So it's saying basically when you switch on, you get the main lens by default. Long press the power button two seconds, you can switch the lens. So we have main lens, side lens, split screen. Okay, we can look at that. A little bit about formatting the cards. You can copy the video files to the computer either with a card reader or with USB. I'll just use USB, I think. And then how to attach the accessories. Here's the specification. So we have the focal length. Yeah, three to 10 centimeters. I would agree with that. That's what I was getting there basically on the Triple camera version is just slightly different than the other modes. Okay. It's saying that this will record video 1080p, 15 to 30 frames per second. 30 is probably quite okay, to be quite honest. I suspect this depends on how much light you have, but the light in the end of this seems to be fairly bright. And that's basically it. There's my rather dirty keyboard, as you can see. Okay, but we can use this to look at this lens switching. So that's the main lens. We press the button. Please wait. Oh, now it's gone to a side lens. So it's effectively looking sideways out of the boroscope end. Okay, press again. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of like a combination mode. Okay. Split screen. Oh, that's also interesting. So we have a side view and a front on view. The other way around. And back to the main view. Okay. So that's the lens switching. The accessories for this are also quite interesting, although not necessarily for our sort of work, but let's take a look. So this screws off the end. And we have a couple of these accessories. This one is the hook. This one has a magnet in the end. And these are basically intended for retrieving things. If you've lost something in a very difficult to reach position, this is typical of the keys down the drain, of course or anything else you've lost in an awkward position. Yeah, you can see that quite nicely on there, okay? So you can actually see the hook. You can see where we're going with that. Again, we come to the split screen effect. That's actually looking up at me. From the other angle. Ah. That's interesting because that is not showing the hook now. Yeah, it must be using a different camera in the end of this. That's clever. 
split screen so you see the hook on the side yeah that's uh, interesting and back to the forward facing and we can do the same thing with the little magnetic pickup too as well now we've done all that let's start some recording and let's look at some pcbs that was the main interest for this channel i think you can probably see guys i've actually started the recording now so this is recorded onto the tf card so we can have a closer look at this you'll be able to see better but let's have a look so this is an old graphics card let's see if we can see under the bga and how well we can see and the answer is yes we can actually and i'd say we can see well enough if there was any corrosion under there as well I think this would also be handy if you're soldering one of these or you're trying to place a replacement ram chip or somewhere and you want to see if you actually have it in position correctly. It's a little difficult to keep it in focus. I'm probably holding it a bit too close. Let's go from here somewhere. It said three to 10 centimeters. So I'm a little bit further back now. That's as flat to the board as I can hold this. But we're certainly getting an interesting view of that. Yeah, that's... Uh... Possibly very useful, actually. I mean, normally, if I have problems with the graphics cards and such like, where I have RAM chips that are, you kind of push on it and it works or things like that, the problem tends to be at one edge or under the corner. So it's usually the outside balls I actually want to look at. Look at that. And you can see how I'm just sliding that along. You probably can't see the image on the screen very well, but don't worry, you'll watch the recording in a minute. But I have to say, I'm rather impressed with this. You can see there's something underneath that one, some dirt or gunge or something. Heat sink compound, I would say. Okay, let's have a look at the image on the PC screen. I think it gives you much better ideas. Can tell us much better what we can actually see with this thing? Okay. I can think of at least one subscriber who's going to have some interesting comments to say about this. Uh, hey. Do I need to say who you are? I think you know full well who you are. Okay, let's take a look at the recording.
Well guys, I thought that video was pretty impressive really from this little device. I mean there are cheap endoscopes on the market, I've spoke to one or two people, but they say the image quality really isn't very good. This seems to be more than adequate for this sort of inspection work and at the end of the day inspection is a big part of electronics repair and without a doubt this gives us a completely new angle upon that. I'm looking at things I never thought it was really possible to look at. I'd be very interested to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Sure you'll be seeing this again when I've got stuff to repair where I actually want to look under chips like this. How useful that will turn out? Well, I guess time's going to tell, but we have time. So we'll do the telling, yeah? Hope you enjoyed that one, and I look forward to seeing you all soon on another Wayne Electronics Repair video. Ciao for now, guys.